Welcome to July, also known as the heat wave. <laughs> Hot. I just, I just um, literally five minutes before the started looked down at the, you know, little calendar clock thing, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's July. Mm -hmm. How'd that happen? Fiscal year twenty twenty. Everybody. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm. So I, I got the. Um, I, I'm going to describe something to you, Paul, and I believe this could only be the most suburban story in known existence. At least in my lifetime. Okay. So, uh, neighbor's house, the one that burned down, um, they are mm -hmm. remodeling, right? And they have a dumpster. Mm -hmm. um, this Yesterday, my wife decided that she was going to start cleaning out the basement. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of stuff we need to throw away. And uh, people across the street um, are having a, a baby later this year. Mm -hmm. And um, they need a crib and stuff because their house burned down. Yep. And uh, so we are trading them a crib and a, like, rocking it's not like a, it's like a nice rocking chair that you get like bed bath and beyond or something so, sorry to interrupt but apparently brad is calling me i've got yeah, multi that's, personalities that's that's how that's how well skype works folks <laughs> okay that's amazing it literally says brad sam's is calling okay sorry about that well, uh, trading a me. crib sorry i missed uh, you trading a crib for a fully functioning i believe was the last thing i heard yeah so we've got a crib and a like it's like a rocking chair but it's not like an old wooden rocking chair it's kind of mm -hmm. like a lazy boy looking thing but it's made for like when you have kids and stuff and has an ottoman and all that yeah. so we're trading them a a crib and a chair for half the space in their dumpster yeah perfect yeah i mean this this is like we're going to mm -hmm. walk this across the street that way we can throw stuff in their dump like this is this is <laughs> they're going to try to like unload a teenager on you or something oh no no <laughs> they're like in, is... in exchange for this fully functioning merchandise here's a kid <laughs> not quite not quite that good of a deal um but yeah i'm gonna gonna get half a dumpster's worth of stuff yeah. out of my basement here my wife is very thrilled about this i think this is a perfect so we've always done purges every year because we do mm -hmm. these home swaps and then of yep. course we moved two summers ago and so that was a massive purge sure. and uh of course now i'm in the process of restocking every book i ever owned because of this stupid series i'm writing but mm -hmm. um but it's it's very uh yeah, it's very freeing um to get rid of stuff you know, yep. it's a real a, sense of accomplishment with that. I took a pretty large, uh, well, a an SUV sized load to Goodwill mm -hmm. yesterday in the middle of the heat wave because I'm a smart human and uh, <laughs> nearly sure. died trying to unload that and donate that stuff. And now we've got a bunch of other stuff and it's, it's looking better, but um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. No, I'm serious. I know how big this is. Like it's, oh, yeah. it really is a big deal. Yeah. It's, it, it's, I don't know, especially for my wife, it's tough because it's like you're getting rid of, as she calls it, getting rid of memories, right? You're just. I listen, I, I've written close to 30 books or around 30 books, 25 of which were, were actually book books, you know, in paper. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't own any of them anymore. Yeah. I threw those away. I mean, um, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kids grow up. It's, you know, whatever. Yep. But, you know, take a couple last pictures of it if you have to. And see, I'm the total opposite. I'm like, just burn it. Like, let's just. Well, I mean, one of the things we uncovered in the process of scanning mm -hmm. photos this past year, and, and I threw away all those photo albums mm -hmm. too, right? Which is kind of a kind of a weird, crunchy feel when you do something like that. But yeah. uh, in a in, in one of the many boxes of just like stuff, you know, which are full of scrapbooks and you know nonsense, but also meaningful memory type stuff, was the knife that we used to cut our wedding cake. Oh you yeah. Know? yeah. A little ribbon on it and some dead flowers, and it was like engraved, you know, with the, our names and the date. And of course, my wife's like, "Well, we can't throw that out." And I'm like, "Are you insane? <laughs> like, what, what? Under what circumstance would this ever be useful, mm -hmm. other than stabbing me to death because I want to throw it away?" <laughs> you you never so. know when you need to commit a random act of murder. That's, I mean, right, right. Well, to prevent that from happening, I took some photos of it and threw it away. Okay. <laughs> hey, wise, wise beyond your years, Mister Throut. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's some there's some new games with gold, by the way, everybody. If any of these tickle your fancy actually the only reason i put that up there because none of these games are really i don't know well actually by the way the first one is yeah. one of the best games i've ever played really i've never heard of any yeah. of these games i don't think except for maybe yeah. Castlevania. But... i actually reviewed it on the site <laughs> so the thing is like i was so captivated by this game that i reviewed it like really quickly into i wasn't done playing it yet mm -hmm. and it actually unfortunately the very ending of it is is really hard and just frankly doesn't make any sense but it is a creepy hmm. kind of it's a well-driven kind of a thing it's really it, it's is super it like a first person shooter or what is it no no it's a side scroller and oh, okay. you're you're a kid 
who has kind of come upon some mysterious things going on at night and you're running across the landscape and you go into a, the you know, it's like a, you know, a little bit like stranger things is like mm-hmm. a company in the area that's, you know, doing weird stuff on the ground and stuff. And it's, uh, it's, it's a, I even just play the first, just play it the first like five or 10 minutes just to experience it. It's, it's yeah. really, really neat. Yeah. It, well, it's free. So you really don't have much of an excuse other than. Yeah. Time, yeah. It's I a guess. really good one. Um, but what this, the reason why I put this up here was actually a reminder for me to bring something up. So if mm-hmm. you remember back, uh, and I did write this back in, it was about a year ago in 2018, roughly around this time, I said yep. that Microsoft had uh, a bunch of different stuff they were working on with Scarlet. They had um, the, the Lockhart thing, which we believe is now dead. They had the Anaconda, which we believe has kind of been renamed to Scarlet. And then there was yep. also this cloud box streaming thingy-mabob. Okay. Uh, hearing that's not dead yet. That, that, that's, and what, that's, was, what is cloud box? So it's effectively, think of like, and this is going to be a bad analogy and people are going to be like, ah, oh, but Microsoft did it for, whatever. You know how Google Stadia controller connects directly to the internet and all that? Yeah. So if you want to use an Xbox controller and you don't have an Xbox, you either got to have like a Bluetooth device or if you want to connect it to a TV, then you have to buy a proper Xbox. Yeah. So this is what I understand it to be is just like a cloud connect box that allows you to connect into X cloud for a very low price and then use an Xbox controller without having to buy a full console. Right. So this is, um, I can't think of that. that was a, a Seattle based company that briefly did mm. cloud based game streaming, had a very inexpensive, it wasn't really a console. It was basically an empty box, but you can yeah. connect controllers to it on live. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is, this is essentially what it sounds like is like the Microsoft's version of OnLive. It's a cloud connected gateway to their service and you can connect controllers to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's anyway, so if people are wondering what happened to that, I think it's still around. I don't think they have killed it yet. It might still be coming. So I think it should still come. I mean, I, I, the problem, well, the problem with this whole scheme ultimately, other than bandwidth, I guess, mm-hmm. is dealing with the different set top boxes and devices yep. and so forth and the differences between them and so forth like and so if if you want to you know support roku for example there are multiple generations of these devices different capabilities different amount of ram different video out support etc cetera, etc cetera. um it gets a little sticky i would imagine and so like having a, a reliable known device that's inexpensive you can throw in your living room mm-hmm. yeah you know it makes sense yeah. Yeah, i think it makes sense we'll see if it ships um, yeah. I just want to be clear that this thing still exists. I don't know if it's coming to market, but it's there. I mean, ideally, and this would be dumb, unfortunately, for Microsoft, it would work like a Roku as well and support entertainment services like Netflix. I agree. That but would make probably, the most sense, but there's also, those things are also just commodity at this point. Um, I mean, no, got- I know, but you almost have to have it as the minimum. I mean, yeah. like, uh, the, the problem is it would be yet another platform for those guys to mm-hmm. support. So maybe... Unless it's just all PWA-driven. Yeah, yeah, and um, and who knows? Maybe there's maybe this isn't as hard as I think it is. But I don't I don't know what it's like for Netflix to have to support. Well, Apple TV is probably just like it's iOS essentially, right? Yeah. So that's probably what that is. And then whatever Amazon Fire, Android TV, uh, Roku, I mean, whatever if, else. If they were smart, they would just build it all around PWAs because the resolution yeah. isn't an issue, right? 1080p, 4K, yep. that's already done. Um, you can stream it through a web browser if they can just yep. do it. Well, Hulu full did screen. do that, by the way. Hulu did do that. So, yeah. I mean, by they, I guess we mean like Netflix, uh, Amazon, HBO, whatever the other services are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would certainly make it easier. Yep. Which the reason, one of the other reasons I bring this up is it kind of makes more sense too if this device does ship, not mm-hmm. having Lockhart in there as well, because then you would have, um, let's say, like a $50 little cloud box that comes with a controller or 60 bucks mm-hmm. or whatever it's going to be. And then you'd have like a Lockhart, which is like 199 And then you'd have an Anaconda, which is probably like 4 dollars I'm just spitballing numbers here. Yeah it, would, yeah, yeah, it would be really kind of confusing and a lot of SKUs to ship and support to all on day one. And so if you just get rid of that middle one, be like, look, if you just want to connect to the web and just do that, here you go. If you want the best experience, there you go. Don't worry about this other crap. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. And that's about all we got. <laughs> There's, yeah, it is not much going on. Um, right. Yeah, nope. I don't know no. what I was just going to say. I, <laughs> actually, I do have one small thing. I, I, I haven't put this on the site yet. I will put the, uh, it, I'm not going to do this today, but mm-hmm. whenever I finish updating the next chapter for the Windows 10 field guide, I will have hit an interesting milestone. And I need to actually look at a file to tell you exactly what that mm-hmm. milestone is, um, which is that. 
uh, with the exception of four chapters, all of the chapters of the book will be have been updated for 1903 or for 1809, meaning wow. that they are reasonably up to date. Um, and the things that are still in 1809 are not have not really changed, right? Mm. So it's uh, basically the book will be up to date. You know, there's things like um, files and storage, system recovery devices, the store, mm -hmm. Microsoft Edge, which you know wasn't updated in 1903, essentially. Groove music and movies and TV. So this is like this is a an interesting milestone for the book because um, it's been hard to keep it up to date. And one of the sure. things I'm really hoping for is that 19H2 is this kind of service pack type update, meaning I could actually be up to date for a, a significant period of time, mm -hmm. which would be fantastic. Because one of the things that's going to change in talking to um, Tony Redmond when we were in mm. DC is moving the book to a different model, which is something I've been kind of thinking yeah. about for a long time anyway. So this book, as of this November, will be four years old. It you know has been updated oh, wow. for however many versions of Windows mm -hmm. have occurred in those years, six, seven, eight, whatever it is. And uh, everyone who's ever bought it has gotten the next, you know, all of the updates for free. And yeah. so I think I'm going to, I think the dividing line is going to be 1903 and then 19H2 or 20H1, you know, whatever will mm -hmm. be like separate books and Which each will sense. be updated, you know? Yeah. So mm -hmm. anyway, I'll write about this, but yeah, I need to figure out exactly what we're doing here, but um, it's moving along, I guess, finally. Well, good. Well, good. I'm, I'm happy that. You're happy. I don't. I don't know where. Well, I, I mean, I, so in keeping with your <laughs> accomplishments around decluttering, like mm -hmm. getting stuff done for the book and getting it up to date finally, because some of the stuff was not had not like the Skype chapter hadn't been updated in almost a couple of years. Like I, it was just something that sat there, kind yep. of festering, you know. And so getting that stuff updated, the old stuff. There's no old stuff in the book anymore, or there won't be as of t today or tomorrow. Um, like that's the same kind of a, like it's kind of a nice feeling like to mm -hmm. kind of you know because i intend to keep this thing fully up to date but of course it moves so quick i have to yeah prioritize based on the most important content in the book and make sure that stuff's up to date first you know yep. and so now i can now it look it's actually going to be all up to date so that's kind of mm -hmm. neat yeah well good good for you paul <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't even like i was trying to, I, I don't even know where to go with that because it's like that, yeah. that's great like oh yeah, yeah. next moving on i don't the problem is that there's not really much else to move on to folks it is uh well it's canadian independence day today i believe sometime are around they really independent i guess they're sort of i don't know yeah, what I mean, are they yeah. are they a commonwealth or something what, what's the deal with canada Your countries knows. yeah but they still have a like an allegiance don't they have sorts to the crown like kind of a no i don't know pseudo democracy what are they i have no idea they're... america light <laughs> i don't know no, too much. Ma angered Australia might as well not yeah. stop with Canada. I love Canada. I mean, I'm just, I'm joking, but I mean, yeah. not about loving Canada. I love, I mean, I love Canada. Like I, I, yeah, the only thing that, one. keep going. No, I love Canada. Like I, I would move there right now, other than the fact that it's north of us, and I already don't yep. like the weather where I live. That's because if we you could know? just put them in between, mm -hmm. like below us and in between Mexico, I would move there in a minute. Yeah, in a heartbeat. Yeah, if we could just yeah. swap that, because that would be amazing. Yep. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just looking at honestly, like a whole bunch of trash bags, Tupperware things. <laughs> That's good though. Yeah. So we should discuss this week. So, uh, in the United oh, States, yeah. uh, we have our own independence holiday coming. Mm -hmm. So if I understand the schedule, we will do the show tomorrow and Wednesday. Yep. And then not Thursday or Friday because Thursday is the holiday and the way holidays work in the United States, basically the whole yep. place takes Friday off. So, yeah. And, uh, my actual plans for Friday, which. As long as it doesn't rain, I might be seal coating my driveway, just going, <laughs> going all out. By the way, it should be 90 degrees out on Friday, so that was a good call. Well, it, that's actually good. That is good. Oh, is that good for seal coating? Well, I, I'm gonna, I mean, liquidy. I'm going to be legitimately starting probably like 7.30 in the morning and mm -hmm. hopefully done by like 10 or 11. That way that heat will just dry it out and then you can drive on it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. But it, if it's going to rain, then I can't. But I'm, my, yeah. my goal and the reason why I'm doing it now, usually I do it later in the year whatever not that anybody really cares but because they're going to be redoing our street they're also going to be putting in new curbs and i don't yeah. want the new curb to go down and then me just to drag and accidentally spill some asphalt sealant on it how do they uh do they do curbs right in your neighborhood are they granite or, or uh, whatever or the, how not, do they do i don't curbs? think they're granite that would be expensive but, yeah um well, I don't, we'll find out um they well i mean it like in dedham they got cheap so at one point they just started forming the asphalt into the shape of oh, a curb oh no 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 these are like <laughs> just like you know proper 
poured concrete gutters. They're actually pretty. Yeah. Oh, substantial. yeah, concrete. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They're pretty substantial. Yeah. I mean, they're probably like four or five inches and they're nice and like rounded and mm -hmm. they're nice. falling apart right now, which is why they're putting new ones in. But right. Good. So, yeah, there you go. Welcome back to Gutter Weekly, everyone, where mm -hmm. we take the conversations and physically. We're moving yeah, past windows to the gutters. Yes, yes. So uh, that wraps it up for today, everyone. Have yourselves a wonderful Monday. We'll be right back here tomorrow, hopefully with some things going on in the world of Microsoft or beyond. Thank you.